Hey guys, welcome back to Doug's Basement Workshop. And today we are fulfilling a request. Mother wants a calendar. So I told her to go pick something out on Etsy and we would make her a calendar. And I'm thinking calendar like typical puppy dogs, cats, a calendar. No, no. I'm sure this has some special name. But this is what she wants. I'll put some pictures up over there. This thing is freaking awesome. And I really didn't expect it to come out as well as it did. Um, and you'll hear me talking during the video why we didn't engrave the words and the numbers and stuff um, in the next section where I talk about why that engraving didn't happen. The only issue I had was the base I had to sand the pieces to fit them in. That could be the warp in my wood that made that not fit. Everything else here fits beautifully. And I got to say, this is the second piece that I've bought from this company, this person on Etsy, and I love it. The exploded diagram, and if I can get a picture of it, I'll put it up over here, of how to assemble this is almost my favorite part other than the fact that the files work perfectly from the get-go. Almost no editing was required by me. We're going to do some editing on the on the numbers to make them work right or the letters. That's a small issue. But this file worked perfectly. There are so many pieces and parts to this to working that it is amazing. I love this thing. Um, Mom hasn't seen it yet. I'm going to show it to her later. I'll ask her to comment on the video in the comment section. And you guys can get her opinion of it. But this is so cool. There's little gears inside that the, that the things click in little gears inside. It's awesome. You'll see the gears in the Glowforge in the next section. Guys. I, I've got to give this person an A plus for model making, an A plus for design, beauty, simplicity. I I can't say enough. I love this. I absolutely love it. And I know the camera is probably washing out from the bright fluorescent light over my head. I'll put some nice pictures here and video of it. Guys, if you're looking for a, a gift for someone, perfect. About two sheets of wood is what this took me in the Glowforge. Um, plenty of room for a table scatter and keychains around the edges, but about two pieces of wood. So $5 in material, maybe 20 minutes to cut this out. Um, our internet's running slow today. I think I spent more time waiting for the internet to let me process the file than I did cutting. Assembly was five minutes. And that's with sanding the base pieces to fit them in. And that base is snug. That's not coming off. This isn't rocking. I'd rather have it this tight than have it wobbly. Not a drop of glue. This is all friction fit right now. I, I love it, guys. Go check this guy out. Go check out the other models. Soon you will be seeing, if it's not out now, the catapult video is also from him and his directions for assembling the catapult. Made my little heart just a flutter. You've got to go check out the that catapult video and see the directions for that. I I was speechless when I saw those directions. All right, guys. So this probably will not be a kit that I'm selling, but definitely the perfect perfect gift. All right, guys. Good video. Go check out the next session. Remember, guys, like, subscribe, so I keep doing these videos for you guys. Help me get monetized. Have a good one, guys. I'll see you later. Full as usual, but we'll see what we can get in here. So you've seen the project already, hopefully during my intro. And I'm just trying to squeeze as much in here as I can. We're using a piece of leftover wood from some custom orders that came in. And see what we can work in here. So... 
one of my favorite parts about the Glowforge is your ability to sneak and snug pieces up nice and tight. Get all kinds of stuff in there that you wouldn't normally get in on a on other lasers that I've worked with in the past. <clears throat> Sorry if this sounds a little awkward, guys. I had started this out with a great video, great intro. I was working away, realized I hadn't hit the record button, so we're kind of catching up as I'm working. So, we're still working with this wonky, warp, yucky wood, but we're going to give this project a quick try. And, well, I'll be darned. The words are messed up. All right, we're going to send that back off to my graphic artist and see if they can fix that. Or do I score it? You know what? The heck with it. We're going to score it. It'll cut my carving time down by a lot. And we'll see how it looks when we're done. All right, guys. So, I guess we are truly flying by the seat of our pants. Let's see how much this jumps when we get it ready. All right, now that my coffee cup is filled up and I am ready to rock and roll again here, we're going to ooch all of our pieces back into the right place. Yes, I just used the word ooch. Get over it. All right. So we're going to give this a shot. We're going to score the lettering since the art did not come through correctly. Because when I type... So let me show you real quick in case you didn't catch it. Um, on my engrave settings, the letters are filled in. And I don't want that. So we're going to try it on score and see how it comes out. Alright, so this is going to be a cool little project here, guys. So let's see how this goes. I'm assuming you know what I'm going to do because you've seen the end result before me. Eight minutes. Gosh, I think that's going to be so much faster than engraving it or scoring it. All right, guys, let's go run this. I'll go set up the camera. So if you guys have never run a laser before, this stuff is not hot coming out. The wood is slightly warm, but it is far from hot. Even though we just burned all this stuff off of it. All right, here we go. Our first set of pieces. And I'm gonna peel the tape off of these while we sit, while the next program is running. Get these out of the way and get our next piece of board in here. Obviously, it's been a few minutes. I took the stuff out of the laser, taped up a new piece of wood. We're going to delete the stuff we've already got done. And that does not take away the settings on the side or change anything for us. We're going to bring our new piece in. And 
And this may take a third run, which it looks like it's going to. So I'm probably not going to film that. So all we're going to do is once this stuff cuts out, move this stuff over, put this over here, and run it again. So I don't think we need to see this three times in one day. Again, these weights are on here because I have such a bad bow in my wood. I got to hold that bow down and stop it from fluttering in the, in the breeze in the machine. Well, this is calculating. Guys, if you make designs and you're selling them, this is worth its weight in gold right here. The exploded diagram for how to assemble this. This is what I'm going to use when I go to assemble this later is this picture showing me how to put it together. There are so many designs and stuff that I want to get that I know do not come with directions. If you're selling art and you have directions for your stuff, guys, put that in your listing. It makes a difference when someone like me is looking to buy a piece of art. If I know there's solid directions to go with it, that's a huge plus. All right. I think we're ready to run this. All right, another four minutes and 23 seconds. And then we just gotta throw this piece in over here afterwards and we're all set. Let's go watch this cut.